Hey everybody, Sunday, April 21st. I told you I'd give you a longer video in my short I did at the veterinarian hospital in the Kamada Tuan. We are now home in Dingalan. It's about 12:15. Uh, we made it home in good time because the way I drive. Uh, <laughs> and Sunday, the traffic isn't as bad. Even though there's a lot of tricycles, a lot of motorcycles. And nobody follows the law. Nobody. Uh, but I wanted to give you the, uh, the low down on Patch. She's going to stay there till at least next Friday. They're going to observe her. Um, the doctor, the doctor, female doctor. She said she's been in a veterinary doctor for seven years. Uh, she's very nice, very knowledgeable. She said in all her years, she's never seen a situation this bad. Uh, she didn't know if Patch would even pull through. She was going to call me if she thought it was going to go downhill and just have her put down. Because uh, all this surgery is very expensive. So the operation was three hours long. And, uh, you know, probably the patch made it because she's so young and strong. Um, she was up when we, when we came to visit her. She was up. She recognized us. Then we said goodbye to her. Pretty sad. Uh, and uh, the surgery went well. But she said she found all kinds of stuff bad. So the big thing was her intestine, lower intestine, had two holes in it. Uh, she said, oh, I don't want to blame the last uh, vet. But uh, it was kind of sewed to the side. And it had two big holes in it. And that's what the smell was coming from. Really bad odor. Because there was actually poop, ta a poop, coming through the holes and uh, infecting everything. She said that that was the bad smell. It wasn't an infection. It wasn't pus. It was poop. So she had to cut part of the uh, intestine, just like they do with a human uh, who has intestinal surgery. And then she sewed the intestine back together with mesh also, so the sutures are strong so that that was the big operation she was going to do a complete hysterectomy she said but not important this was the most important thing so she left everything else the way it was uh, she did not remove the ovaries like she was going to in the beginning she said because patch is already too messed up she said it was chaos when she opened her up chaos that was her words and uh, she she really didn't know if Patch was going to make it. But uh, it's going to have to be observe, observation now. And uh, she said if we do, once we do get her back, uh, we have to get her, give her like liquid food. Uh, special liquid food. Or the food we give her, we have to like liquidize, smash up and put water. Uh, she can't have anything really solid or thick. Because uh, it might put a hole in her uh, intestine, her bowels. She cleaned out all her bowels, everything. She got everything out, anything that would cause infection or smell. She fixed her up pretty good. But she's going to keep her at least till Friday, and then we're going to check. So we're going to have to pay a boarding fee. We don't know what yet. But the surgery itself, 50,000 pesos already we spent, 50,000. That's the $1,000 U.S. Actually, a little bit less because I'm getting more than 50 cents, uh, 50 pesos for a dollar. But still, figure $1,000. Uh, that's getting close to uh, human rates. <laughs> but I told her it doesn't matter. We all love Patch. We all want her back. Unless you know for sure she's not going to make it, then it's not worth it. But... Um, 
she said she thinks she's gonna pull through but she just needs to observe and she already gave her some like wet food it's almost liquid special wet food uh, and patch did lick up some of it but she's gonna wait to see if she has a bowel movement and all that kind of stuff so that's the story people the 50,000 peso dog it's gonna be even more actually once we pay for all the boarding and the food whatever else when we go back probably at least another 20,000 25 most likely depends how long we leave her uh, we don't want to bring her home until we know she's gonna be okay but once we get home she says it's gonna be six months to a year before all that surgery is is totally you know okay and she can eat uh, real food again uh, or we know that it's not gonna cause another hole but that was the biggest operation and then uh, she said next year you know when she goes in heat again do not let her out we have to keep her tied I said well that wasn't my fault she's the other ner the other uh, vet told us it was safe anyway we told her the whole story about the other vet we told her where we got where we did it and I also asked her if I if there was a veterinary group that I could file a complaint just to so they all know what this vet did and she gave me a couple uh, official sites like government sites that you can kind of write to but I don't think it'll do any good um, sorry I got something in my beard I just ate a candy bar and some Gatorade anyway the kids are eating hot dogs we stopped at 7-eleven and they're cooking some lunch for them we had McDonald's breakfast before we went to the vet uh, so everybody's good everybody's fed it's just patch it's just patch to worry about uh, I couldn't take any pictures in there I, I plus I left my phone in the car I really didn't want I was gonna record everything she said but she might not like that she said she really didn't want to get involved in any kind of uh, law thing or suit or any anything like that she didn't want to get involved she didn't want to be a witness because she didn't see the vet do the work she only can assume what the vet did but she said in all her years never seen anything that bad so there you go so that's it folks everything else there is done we'll have to go next week anyway because we have to check on you know paying the electric bill and we usually try to go once a week anyway to make sure everything's good in the house there. Just like this time the Wi-Fi wasn't working. You never know if uh, something's going to break like the refrigerator or something like that. So we got to go pretty much every weekend anyway until Mommy lives there pretty much permanently. Uh, Catherine's school is over at the end of May. So she'll probably start summer school in June. Uh, and James will do preschool over there so that's the that's the plan uh, we'll see how much this road progresses it is progressing it's getting better but they haven't started any cement or anything like that it's just a smooth they smoothed it out though so it's so it's decent but and it's wide enough actually right now too there's only one section it's not too wide but they're moving along on it they're working on it which is great so hopefully it won't even take a year maybe six months but uh that's the story on patch she's there she's under observation she's in a nice big cage they put her in all by herself there's no other dogs on top on the top cage she's on the bottom she's got an iv in her so they're giving her fluids constantly uh but she looks pretty sad. She wants to come home. <clears throat> but she can't come home yet. Uh, but uh, the other dogs aren't near her. So she's she's relaxed. She's in, uh, she's in a good place. They're taking good care of her. They should for $1,000 <laughs> plus. All right. 
So keep on watching. I'll keep you guys up to date. I know some of you are really interested. Some of you love dogs as much as I do. Love pets. Love animals. And uh, you're you're curious. Somebody said, you know, make sure you keep us up to date on Patch. So that's update. I'll let you know if I know here anything else or what's going on. Okay. So thanks for watching. Thanks for following me. Like and subscribe. It is free. Tell all your friends, family. Help out Santa. He needs to get uh, monetized so he can pay for all this stuff. <laughs> God bless everyone. Santa Claus is over and out.